All right, so we're starting this nail tutorial off as always laying the acrylic. Today I will be using Big Dipper Plays Professional Nail Systems Colored Acrylic Powder. And I'm laying this acrylic um, halfway because this is a slant type of design. So it's only gonna cover half the nail. And again, to create that slant, I will be taking a crafts knife and I will be putting monomer on both sides just because I feel like it helps the acrylic not stick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my di cut diagonally into the acrylic. I will be repeating these same steps with all four fingers. Now that the acrylic is laid, I'm going to be taking my electric file to remove all of the excess um, acrylic powder. The reason why I'm using my um, electric file is because one, it speeds up the process and because two, I want all the blue completely removed off of the other side because it's going to be, that side is going to be the ice. So of course you want it to be as clear as possible. So. I am that's why I'm using the electric file now if this was a client and you decide to use the electric file to remove the excess powder I would say um, only use it on the tip and then as you get on the nail bed just pull out that hand file and and use the hand file to remove it because you don't want to risk um, over filing and possibly burning your client I did use my hand file to make the slant a little bit more straight um this is the 80 80 grit hand file Coming up is a separate video on how to do the ice effect. My camera did shut off in the midst of me recording so I wasn't able to show you guys the ice effect but this video is going to show you the process. So once you lay your clear acrylic. You're going to take a piece of aluminum foil, ball it up, unravel it. I am using the monomer method. So I took some monomer and just wiped it on one side of the aluminum foil, letting my acrylic set for a second, not just immediately placing the aluminum foil, but let it set for a second and then place that aluminum foil down on there and then just lift it up and you should have the ice effect. Easy peasy. So I did this effect on all four nails, of course, on the empty side or the clear side, as you can see. Now I'm just taking a thin layer of clear acrylic powder and I am capping in the design so I can go ahead and 
shape the nail and file it and get it nice and crisp and all that good stuff. Here's the finished look. And now using Orbit from Young Nails Mission Control and a my long striping brush, I'm going to be doing the sweater nail pattern. I'm kind of getting sick of this pattern because I've been doing so many tutorials on it, but I feel like it was it was perfect for this design. So here we are again. But I am doing the sweater nail pattern on all four nails and um
my lines could have used a little bit more love but i was running on fumes at the time of recording this but here's the finished look and i hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and hopefully you can execute it even better than i did Thank you.